Sometimes during our development we may come across some unexpected behavior in our application and in those times it's most likely that we will need to debug our code so it will make it easier for us to understand what we may have done wrong. In this video we're gonna dive directly into debugging and learning what source maps are and if you're new to TypeScript or to my channel this video is part of a series where we talk about TypeScript. You can also check out the first video linked in the corner here where we set up our project and learn how to run it. Now let's dive in. I have a simple TypeScript code here with an array of apples that we have property of origin and optional color property and they are both of type strings and we have a for loop that will add the value of red to those apples. So so let's take a look and how we can debug this code. Let's run TSC to transpile down to JavaScript and using the live server I will run index.html. Now to debug this code we can just simply go to the sources tab and find our app.js. There we can add a breakpoint on line number 5 and refresh the page. Next time the page loads it will stop when the code reaches at line number 5. And as you can see here when I hover over the apple color it's undefined but if I jump over to the next step that property will be populated. And and now it has a value of red. Now if we step over to the next function call, uh, the for loop will be called again, looping through the second element of the array, which is Spain, and again it will add the color property of red. Also on the right side in the scope section, you can see the apples being updated as we run the blocks of code. On the top right corner, we have some additional debugging tools as well. Now that we have checked this out, you might be thinking, wait a minute, we wrote this in TypeScript and we are debugging our JavaScript code, wouldn't it be easier and more useful to debug our TypeScript code here. Well yes, of course it is better to do that and this is where source maps come into play. To be able to set breakpoints in your TypeScript code, the browser needs a .map file. Uh, this file basically maps the lines of code in the compiled JavaScript code to the TypeScript code you have written. With the help of this file, the browser can detect the breakpoints in your TypeScript code. To create these .map files, all we need to do is go to our tsconfig.json file and set the source maps to true. And as you can see here in this file, we have a lot of options and it's good that we also have comments explaining what each of these options means. Now since we set the source maps to true, we can transpile again with the tsc command and as you can see we have now generated a file called app.js.map and this file will help the browser to point to our TypeScript file. So in Chrome now you can see that we have this additional TypeScript file uh, that we use to write our application with. Now from here it's just as easy as adding breakpoints as we did with our JavaScript file. Another useful tip is if you have multiple TypeScript files and if it's hard to find that file uh, you can easily search for that file by uh, control shift p and then just typing the typescript file name and just clicking on it this will take you to that typescript file as you saw there guys source maps are really useful during the development of our applications and they help us map the compiled javascript code to our typescript code so that we can debug using our typescript code that's all for this one guys hope you learned something new post your comments questions and suggestions down below and i'll see you in the next one